And now imagine these vertices represent things you need to do. Uh, the textbook has a funny example where you're getting dressed. So you have these constraints that say, well, I've got to put my socks on before I put my shoes on. And then I've got to put my underwear on before I put my pants on, all these kinds of things. Uh, you encode that as a directed acyclic graph. You hope there's no cycles, because then you can't get dressed. Uh, and there are some things like, well, I can put my glasses on whenever, although actually I should put my glasses on before I do anything else, otherwise there's problems. Uh, I don't know, you put your watch on at any time, unless you need to know what time it is. So there's some, some disconnected parts, whatever. There's some unrelated things, like I don't care the order between my shirt and my pants, or whatever. Um, some things are unconstrained. What you'd like to do is choose an actual order to do things. You are, say you're a sequential being, you can only do one thing at a time. So I want to compute a total order. First I'll do G, then I'll do A, then, I'll, then I can do H, because I've done both of the, the predecessors. Then I can't do B, because I haven't done D, so maybe I'll do D first, and then B, and then E, then C, then F, then I. That would be a valid order, because all edges point from an earlier number to a later number. So that's the goal. And this is a, these are real job scheduling problems that come up. You'll see more applications in your problem set. Uh, how do we do this? Well, at this point, we have two algorithms, and I pretty much revealed it is DFS. DFS will do this. Topological sort is what this algorithm is usually called. Topological sort because you're given a graph, which you can think of as a topology. You want to sort it. In a certain sense, it's not like sorting numbers, it's sorting vertices in a graph. So hence, topological sort. That's the name of the algorithm. And it's run, B, run DFS and output the reverse of the finishing times of vertices. So this is another application where you really want to visit all the vertices in the graph. So we use both. We use this top-level DFS, so everybody gets visited. And there are these finishing times. So every time I finish a vertex, I could add it to a list. Say, so, OK, that one was finished next. Then this one's finished. Then this one's finished. I take that order, and I reverse it. That will be a topological order. Why? Who knows? Let's prove it. 